Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to show you how to make an Excel file, um, an Excel table, really an APA table. And I've done some of this work up front, but just to kind of give you an idea. So give me just a moment here. Let me pull this table up. Okay, so right here on the left, I've got my correlations from the example that I've used previously. And I'm going to now convert this into an APA ta table. So I'm going to drag my Excel over here so you can see it. Let me see if I can make this bigger. Okay. So um, you can see that I've set this up. I've got my variables across the top and I've got my variables down, which is very similar to um, what my SPSS looks like. Okay. So over here, if I go back to my SPSS, there's these little asterisks and they tell me that it's a correlation significant at 0 0.001. So you do the same thing in your Excel file here. And you would put an asterisk next to those values. Let me just add a zero here. Oh, wrong one. Wrong zero right there. And so you would asterisk that. I'm going to move that over to the right side. Okay, so you would do that throughout your whole correlation table. So the thing about APA format is you don't have any vertical lines. Okay. So in this instance, I want a line above and a line below. So I go up here to, let me just pull this up so you guys can see this. Okay. So I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to put a top border. And I'm also going to do a bottom border. And then I'm going to do a border down here as well. It's bottom border. Okay. So then I'm going to take this table. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it into a Word document. Okay, and there is my table that I can now use to I can spread it out a little bit. Now that I can use that table as part of my APA format. Okay, the other thing I want you to pay attention to is uh, writing the results and I will show that in the next little section.